Hello and a welcome to the FT special coverage of the Ambrosetti Forum, the Villa d'Este uh, on Lake Como. And I'm here uh, with Mr. Olly Rain, who is the Vice President of the Commission in Charge for, of Economic and Monetary Affairs. Welcome, uh, uh, Mr. Rain. Thank um, you. Let's start, obviously, with the decision of the European Central Bank to intervene on such an enormous scale, potentially in order to make the monetary conditions, as it puts it, work uh, across the whole of Europe, because obviously they've disintegrated. Um, how significant do you think this move is going to be? I think it is uh, a very significant uh, decision, and uh, it is uh, potentially a uh, central element of uh, the comprehensive crisis response uh, of the euro area. Now the ECB has uh, on its part uh, defined uh, the conditionality framework uh, so that uh, the member states uh, are aware of uh, the ECB's uh, intentions uh, and uh, also concerning uh, what kind of conditions uh, this, uh, this kind of uh, uh, outright uh, monetary transaction might uh, imply. I can say from the side of uh, the European Commission that uh, we stand uh, ready to do our part uh, in terms of uh, designing and uh, monitoring uh, conditionality as needed. Can you tell me how conditionality is going to work with countries that are not in a programme, like Italy or Spain, really important countries, if this intervention occurs? How is that going actually going to work? It would be certainly based on uh, the uh, existing uh, or the current uh, what we call country-specific uh, recommendations, uh, which in fact uh, go quite uh, in depth uh, and are quite precise uh, as regards, uh, for instance, uh, the fiscal targets and uh, the path of uh, fiscal adjustment, uh, and uh, equally important uh, as regards uh, structural reforms uh, that can enhance uh, economic uh, growth. So it would be based on these uh, recommendations uh, that, uh, as uh, the ECB's decision uh, implies, uh, uh, effective conditionality. It would uh, include uh, a memorandum agreed uh, with uh, a country concerned uh, and uh, the memorandum would have to include uh, very specific uh, policy objectives uh, and a timeline for meeting these objectives uh, which as I said uh, are defined in the country specific recommendations. Isn't there a really big potential conflict between on the one hand the desire to make absolutely credible the survival of the Eurozone to make it clear that it will work as a monetary union and on the other hand the conditionality because if for whatever reason political difficulties it's easy to imagine elections whatever a country can no longer fulfill its conditions the market will then say investors will say well then there isn't going to be the support the ECB will pull out and we're in terrible trouble isn't this a, really a hole at the heart of the whole project Certainly this uh, scheme is not uh, problem-free, but uh, I would uh, not say that uh, it is uh, impossible to combine effective action on uh, short-term uh, market stabilization on the one hand uh, and uh, effective uh, conditionality of uh, fiscal, and, uh, fiscal policy and uh, structural reforms uh, on the other hand. Uh, what I mean is that uh, it is uh, uh, logical that uh, this uh, framework uh, includes uh, conditionality, which in fact is based on the already existing conditions and recommendations that the Commission and the Council have together given to countries like Spain or, or Italy or any other member state for that matter. So in fact it is not something that we would expect in a way on top of what is being done, but we expect in any case in the context of the reformed uh, framework of uh, and reinforced uh, framework of uh, EU economic uh, governance. And do you think that from the point of view of the world outside, final question, they should now say, looking at what has been done, the whole question of anybody leaving the Eurozone, of any sort of breakup, which has obviously been there in the market, is just out of, the, it's gone. It, we, the, these actions now being taken, of which this is central, are designed and will achieve the result of eliminating that question from anybody's mind? I think uh, this decision last week by the ECB Governing Council together with uh, the wave of reforms uh, we, have, we are seeing now all over Europe uh, and uh, together with uh, a, a rebuilding of the Economic and Monetary Union 
this will uh, substantiate uh, and uh, concretize uh, the claim that, uh, for instance, uh, Mario Draghi has made that uh, the euro is uh, irreversible. For me, the euro is certainly irreversible, and now we are putting into practice uh, such policies uh, that will indeed uh, substantiate uh, this uh, claim and uh, this, uh, this uh, goal. Mr. Ren, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much. Pleasure.